In this video, I will show you only a few tips how to set Radar Opus to your preferences. And I will mention a few other tips of the new Radar Opus 3.1 and maybe I repeat a few others. In the video description below, I will add a link to a video by Luc Norland in which he shows in more detail the new features about Radar Opus 3.1 and the Synthesis Adonis. So Synthesis Adonis has made a huge jump. So you see here mentioned a few things. Uh, for example, a lot of information has been added by Dr. Farag Master, uh, clinical additions, the Grote, Manji Lavori. For example, from Schur, we integrated the COVID-19 repertory and a lot more. So, about this huge jump, it is probably more than seven years of work by the team of Frederik Schoyens. You see that if we compare with the synthesis 2009, there were about 139,000 uh, symptoms with remedies, so rubrics with remedies. And this has jumped to 153,000. So if we look at the remedies and authors, so in this color here, the synthesis uh, 2009 in Radar Opus had a bit more than 1,100,000 remedy occurrences. And this has jumped to more than 1,300,000 remedy occurrences. If we look at the author references, this has jumped from a bit less than 1,900,000 to more than 2,100,000 author references. But the team of Frederick Schoens has an important message for all those who focus on the classical approach. So all those users who are focused on the more classical remedies and sources. So the homeopathic vision of the team of Redex Hoyens is never to sacrifice quality for quantity. This has been guaranteed by the fact that every edition is carefully referenced. And you as user have full control over which type of editions you want to see in your repertory. So if we switch now to Radar Opus with the Adonis, let me find an, an example. So I go to Mind, Addiction, Tendency to Become Addicted. If I look here in the Synthesis Adonis, I have 67 remedies. Let me take this symptom in a clipboard. And when I look up the same rubric in the synthesis 2009, so mind, addicted, tendency to become addicted, there's only one remedy. Let me take this one also. And let me put it in the right order. So the top one is from the Synthesis 2009, and this is from the Synthesis Adonis, and you see the difference. Now, let me open the Adonis again. If I show the author references, so I click on this icon, you will see that many authors are underlined. So, for example, this one, HR1, that's the guiding symptoms on hearing. If I double click on it, you see the exact reference, the exact text in that document. If I now click on it, it goes to the hearing and it goes to that remedy and exactly to that text, to that symptom from which that addition has been made. And you see in the Materia Medica also to which symptoms it has been linked. So it was not only added to mind addicted tendency to become addicted, 
but it is also added to this symptom uh, with delusion she is lost. So you see, there are many of such uh, new additions with references. Of course, when you double click on it to open that document, you need to have that document in your package. So let me just uh, do another one. I see here homeopathic links. I click on it. Then I see there are two references. So I click on one of them. And you see here, to which repertory symptoms this text has been uh, linked. So to which it has been added. So what can I show you more? In the synthesis Adonis, you also see these remedies. It appears like remedies, but we call them family remedies. These are families which are associated to this symptom. Now, by default, they are highlighted and they are alphabetically placed in that rubric. Now, to change that, you go to the local options. You select here in families. You can unhighlight them. Let me switch it on again. Or you can say, well, I want them at the end. So now they are at the end of the remedy list, at the end of the rubric, there are all the families. Now, if you don't want to see these families, it is simple. You just go down in the views to a more conservative view. For example, Millennium View, which has then excluded the more theoretical information, but it still includes, for example, German Schur new provings. The quantum view are more those sources which uh, are considered more classical. And there's a new one from T. Gallic, reliable sources. So if I select here the quantum, you will see that most of these families are removed, those family remedies. And we have received already a request, a option to remove all family remedies. This will be made available in, in the next update. So let me close this local options. Let me put it here again on the full repertory. And let me close here the author references. And another tip is if you press on the key bar, the space bar, you will have only the number of remedies. If I press on the space bar once again, you will see the remedies only. And if I press again on the space bar, you see the references also. So you can, can do that with the space bar or here with these buttons. What else can I show you? Here in the synthesis Adonis, often you also see a link to a website with these small icons, the world icons. Um, there are so-called synonyms. So let's go to this example, uh, promiscuous. I double click on this one. So you see promiscuous is a synonym, a synonym rubric, because it does not have any remedies. This in contrast to cross-references, Cross-references are links which are added to rubrics which do have remedies. So promiscuous, if you click here on adulterous, you will go to the main rubric adulterous and you see that promiscuous was a synonym. Now, sometimes this can be quite a lot. Uh, so the gray area with these synonyms can be quite a lot. Uh, and if you do not like to see them so obvious, you can go to your local options and you can say here in the repertory, expand rubric synonyms. I deselect it. Now those rubric synonyms are collapsed and you see them only here by this 
equal sign and when you hover your mouse over it so when you hold your mouse over it you see those synonyms so that's another option let me switch it on again and i close the local options now i would like to explain these views buttons this is not new to the radar opus 3.1 but I still like to show you because many people do not really understand it or use it. So if I have the full synthesis, all remedies from all sources are shown. If I go back to a smaller view, so for example here the quantum view, then if you have this button on, it is hide or show the remedies which are excluded from the view so this rubric here has now five remedies in this view and there are 17 which has been excluded so let me put it here to the full repertory again you see there are 22 and that number of excluded remedies is gone so let me put it back for example here to reliable sources from Gaelic and you see that all remedies have been excluded from that view. But if you hold your mouse over it and then move your mouse to this tooltip, you will still see the remedies which are excluded. So let me go back here to the quantum view, for example. Then you see there are five remedies still in that view and 17 have been excluded. So I personally like that this button is always on then this button is to show or hide the symptoms excluded from that view so it means if in a certain view a symptom or rubric does not have any remedies anymore it disappears completely i personally like to see them always so let me give you an example uh, i go to mind abandoned so if I press enter, you see that that rubric is no longer in the view. If I switch that button on, you see that those rubrics remain in the view. So let me, um, let me go, for example, to the Kent Repertory Revised. Then it will be more clear. Let's scroll down if I can find if I can find any. So I'm scrolling now here as a nice example. For example here. So here, mind ailments from joy. All remedies have been excluded from that view, those 32. But because I have this button on, I still see that this symptom here is available. So another thing which is available in the 3.1, actually it was already available in 3.0, is your re preferred keynote materia medica. So let me put it here first on the full repertory. So I can double click on a remedy and then here I see a keynote materia medica or a materia medica, but we call it your keynote materia medica, but it can be any materia medica. It can even be the hearing guiding symptoms or whichever materia medica you like. So here are currently two materia medicas and it searches if that remedy is present in the first one. If not, it will show the second one. Now, how can you set your preferred materia medica? I've explained this already in another video, but just let me repeat. I close this. Let me clean up a bit. I close this also, and I close this. And here again, and let me close this one, and let me close the analysis. So, in the list of references, you open the local options, you click on favorites, and let me go to the Burke. I select here the English Burke. And I say use selected documents. 
Now, I personally like to have first the burke. So I drag it here to the top. Okay, I close this option. Now, if I double click here on Akunita, you will see that Burke is now the first favorite keynote material medica which opens. Now, there are, of course, many other ways in Rada Opus to search for a remedy in the materia medica. One is that from the same remedy information window, you do in the left upper corner, search this remedy in, for example, all documents. Then at the left, you see first the list of repertory. So it does an extraction of that remedy, aconitum, in all these repertories which you have. And then here it goes to the list of materia medicas. And for example, let me select here the Burke. This is what is found in Burke, but this still is not the book itself. It's still the search tab. If I double click here on the title, it opens really the Burke. And now you can scroll fully through the Burke and even to the next remedy or the previous remedy. Now you can do that also in another way. So if you are here in the repertory, you can just do right mouse click and then say, search this remedy in. The current document is the repertory where I'm looking in and it does a remedy extraction. Or you can say also all documents or all repertories, what you prefer. Another small trick is, uh, let me show you that quickly. If I have here the repertory and I have here the synthesis Adonis, if I open it here, I can see the chapters. That's another way to select the chapters, similar as here in the left upper corner, the binoculars. If I point to a remedy and I drag it here to this title, the Schroens Adonis, and I let go, it does a, an extraction, a remedy search, and you see all rubrics where that remedy is present. So what else can I show you about this Red Opus 3.1 and what other tips are there? Well, everything what I mentioned and a lot more, you can find via help Radar Opus Manual and it opens a very large manual and it even includes some installation tips and how you can convert information from the old radar to the radar opus. Another place where you can find a lot of information is on the website www.radaropus.com. Let me go to it. And on the website, you go to video, and this is the academy. There you have a, a beginner course, an expert course, or here, for example, a link to all tutorial videos. Also a source of information can be the help online. So here the local help. Okay, what else can I show you? So something new in Radar Opus is that when you make a backup of your information, so you go to Tools, you say Database Management and Backup. This backup only includes the patient file and the saved analysis. Remember that if you start making personal additions, so you can make them throughout the repertory or even in the separate chapter here at the end, which is called a personal chapter. And it depends, of course, on which package you have, if you can make additions to existing rubrics or that you can also insert new symptoms, new rubrics. So if you start making these additions, it's important that you make a copy of these additions also on a regular basis. And you do that via additions, export additions. 
Then you select the repertory from which you want to export. So let's say you start making additions in the synthesis Adonis. Then you click here on export additions and make sure you save that file in a safe location. So, of course, this menu additions, um, there's a lot to say about it. Here you can make remedy additions, you can insert new symptoms, you can add cross references, you can create what is called here a, a, a referring symptom, and that is a synonym. So, you make a new symptom and you do not add any remedies, but you refer it, you point it to another one. So uh, then you can add symptom notes and veterinary symptom notes. So what else can I explain about the new RAID Opus 3.1? So let me say something about families and the analysis. So what do I have here already in this analysis? I have a one symptom. So let me do one more example. Um, I go to, uh, let's go first to the synthesis 2009. I go to mind, fear of the dark. So fear of the dark has 104 remedies. I take that one also with drag and drop. Now I go to the Adonis. I go to mind, fear, dark and I see I have 145 remedies so let me drag it also and here in the analysis you see the difference here tendency to become addicted is 1 in the 2009 and 67 and this one is has gone from 104 to 145 um, by the way, if you do not like this tooltip popping up always, you can just go to the local options and you remove those tooltips. So here, show the tooltips on remedies and symptoms. Just switch it off and you do not see that anymore. So about families. So if I double click here on a remedy, for example, Natrum Carbonicum, I double click, it opens the remedy information window. Then I click on families and I say kingdoms and I see it belongs to the natriums and compounds. Then I can select here limit to or highlight. So let me select highlight and you see natrium carbonicum and let's see here are three other natriums. But the same thing you can do in a different way. You can uh, also do a right mouse click. So I do right mouse click. And then let me see. I do here highlight all family members of this remedy. And I say let's do the mercurius and compounds. I say select. Now I did highlight, so let me see here, Cinnabaris, is there one more? No, those two were there, but you can also do limit, of course. Another way to do that is to go to the list of families. So here I type, for example, plants, and I select here plants APG2, or for example, Cronquist. Daugram, I don't know who uses this, but let's let's say here conquest, uh, plant conquest, plants conquest. I do a right mouse click and I say highlight this family in the analysis. And you see that all plants are now highlighted. But you can do that also in another way. So in the repertory, there is here now uh, show only plant remedies, show only animal remedies, or only minerals, and only remedies. That removes the family remedies, but it is 
always on the full repertory. So let me do here minerals. So now not only in the repertory you see only mineral remedies, but also in the analysis, because you see here at the top, as a reminder, only mineral remedies. So I think I showed you already a lot in this video and should not become too long. Remember that you can see everything what I've taught you now in the manual, which contains many other video links and on the website www.radaropus.com on video. There's an academy with a lot of other tutorial videos. Okay, thank you for your attention.